Welcome back, guys. Uh, as you can see, I'm in Sparky Linux. Uh, it's based on Debian testing. It's a fantastic distribution. Um, in another video, I showed you how to use, how to install your NVIDIA drivers in Sparky. Today, I'm I'm, I'm going to show you how to how to get BattleNet running. Your BattleNet games, World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, things like that. So the first thing you want to do uh, is to make sure that you, when you install Sparky Linux, that you've done a, a system update and upgrade. Then you want to, you're going to want to install your, uh, your proprietary drivers. Uh, if it's Nvidia that you have, then I have a video on that, uh, showing you how to install your Nvidia drivers within Sparky. Now Sparky is terrific. It's based on Debian testing, so it pulls in a lot of uh, later later codecs, later software packages. So it helps with the BattleNet install. Um, what you, everything pretty much comes installed in Sparky. There's only going to be a few things that I'm going to tell you that you'll need to install. Um, one is you'll need to let me pull up a terminal. So the first thing you want to make sure after you've installed your drivers and you've updated your system, you want to make sure you install the codecs. So there is a, a menu item. I think it's under System Tools. Uh, let's see. No, it's under Sound and Video. Yeah, you see under Sound and Video, Install Multimedia Codecs. Make sure you do that. Click on that install those multimedia codecs because you'll need some of those now uh, you want to make sure that uh, Microsoft fonts are installed so it's going to be sudo app get install ttf dash ms core fonts dash installer Okay, so it's sudo app get install ttf dash ms core fonts dash installer. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do it again, but that's the first thing you want to make sure of. Then, out of the box, Sparky has wine, wine config installed. Um, you need that for BattleNet, but what you'll, what it doesn't have that you need is wine tricks. So you're going to run sudo app get install wine tricks and install that. Once that's installed, it's a good idea to reboot. Okay, once you reboot and come back, then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the BattleNet. You're going to go to the BattleNet website. And you're going to click on download clients and you're going to install the Windows version of BattleNet. Let me adjust this window. So you're going to install the Windows version of the BattleNet application installer right here install that to your downloads folder go to your downloads folder don't need hidden files okay so go to downloads you can see I already have it BattleNet setup right click on that well actually you're not gonna do that yet just yet just make sure you've downloaded it now you're gonna go back to your terminal <coughs> And you're going to run a couple of commands. First one is wine tricks core fonts. Okay, wine tricks core fonts. Now I've already got it installed, there you can see that. The next program you're going to install is VC Run VC Run 2015. And it's already installed. So 
you'll want to install and run both of those commands. Now, when you um, run Winetrix core fonts, it's going to ask you to agree to uh, or install a few packages. Just click install. Uh, when you do VC run 2015, it's going to ask you to agree to a uh, Microsoft um, program. You want to click to agree and install that. So go through those two installations. Once you do that, now you're going to go and you're going to right click, right click it, open with, and then you're going to come down to wine. Let's see, I already have it installed. So what I'd like you to do, instead of doing that, uh, click on custom command line and just type in wine and click browse and go down to wine and let's see and just click the wine listing you see right there and click OK then click OK now you're gonna see it's it opens up a window to start installing Battle.net now mine is already installed but you're gonna end up at this window and you're going to once the install is finished you're gonna end up at this window where you'll just put in your you your battle.net username and your password once you do that then it's gonna open up your battle.net window now as you can see I've already get, got Hearthstone installed and it, I'm able to play it if you want Starcraft click on that and click on install if you want World of Warcraft, click on that, click on install. And so that's basically it. If you just go through that process that I gave you, you will end up with Battle.net installed within your Sparky Linux Debian uh, installation, and you can play any of these Battle.net games. So guys, that is it for this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.